Hi, I'm Darren. Hi, I'm Gordon. And, and we're, we're the, the Two Gay Reefers. Hi, Reefers. This is our tank update. What are we now? 15 months? 16? 15 months. 15 months 15 in. months. Wow. And who do we have here? Itchy. Good old Itchy. Still lonely with that, without a mate, but he's still doing well. He's happy. Well, well as happy as a clown could never be. They, they always look cranky in my eyes. <laughs> but the anemone looks happy. Oh, Very the, happy. The anemone looks amazing. It's just, it's just so huge all the time. And look at the stretch on that. It's just reaching for the light there. It loves life at the moment. And Apollo! Apollo, he's uh, such a, a unique character in the tank. He always seems to be happy. Does seem to come out a lot more now, which is really good. Uh, when we first got him, he used to hide a lot. But yeah, he's out a lot now during the day, and he just swims around, and he flicks his little fin on top, and is generally a happy little camper. Yep, yep, he's, done. he's a really happy little fish. Bugs! And bugs. He's just always always happy as well. All of our fish seem to be happy all the time. It's, uh, it's I think it's a good sign that our tank's just at that right point where we've got enough fish, we've got enough uh, enough livestock. I think it's just sort of being nice and happy. So I think every all the fish know their place in the tank too. So they all know their relationship to each other. Yeah. And they're quite happy and being friendly. They know who to leave alone and who to who to hang out with and who to annoy and like any typical little family. <laughs> And there's Ernie. And Ernie, our, our sand sifters. Love the sand sifters. They're such cool little fish. Uh, well, big fish now. They're not little anymore. But God, they make a mess. <laughs> they make an extreme mess. Every time I look at the tank, there's just sand everywhere. All the sand dropping down from the from the gills. Every day. All day, every day. But look at their faces. Uh, they, they always look like they're giving us an odd look. I sit, sit on the couch next to them. They always look like they're just staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like it when they yawn. Yeah. And they do get cleaned by Shelly as well. Oh, Shelly loves them. Shelly loves them. But I've seen particularly Shelly will get right in their gills and right in their mouths as well. Diego! Uh, little Diego. He's a cutie, but he never wants to be on film. No. Mutley, on the other hand. Mutley's a bit of a camera whore. Yeah, he's a crazy fish, but he's so pretty. He's such a unique fish, and every time we put up a video with Mutley in, people go... What type of fish is he? So what type of fish is he? A snooty mary wrasse. Snooty mary wrasse. We do love our wrasses. They're, uh, they're a good part of the tank and uh, he's a really cool addition. Addition. So on to corals now. This is our goniopora that we had. Now it's a bright yellow one. It was really fantastic looking. And I think it suffered a bit when we dosed the tank with fluconazole. And I've put it up on a shelf and it's slowly rehabilitating now. So by shelf, he means frag rack. Frag rack. Not yes. out of the tank on the shelf. And that'd be just <laughs> weird and not good for it. No, that's right. But as you can see, it is starting to regrow in little clumps. So it, this is the first time it's actually getting a bit of um, extension of its polyps, which is really nice. And I think that's down to the amino acids that we're dosing at the moment. And this is a turbinaria. A what now? Like a turban coral, I think it's a common <laughs> name. So it's a frilly looking thing. Uh, this is a uh, seriatopora, a bird of paradise, so a bird's nest. He's using all the technical words today. That's why I'm just sitting here being quiet. <laughs> but as you can see, this is very different colours in different angles. So it's purple from above, but really pink from side on, which is really unusual. Now, this is our little yellow hammer, so he got a bit of sand in him, so that's why Bloody he's... Sand sifters. Yeah, so that's why he's not looking too happy. But we've put him in a little hole in the rock, so side on, so he won't get any sand in him. And he's starting to recover, so hopefully he'll make a full recovery. I do like hammers, they've really, they just got that nice bit of movement in the tank, and they just look cool. And here's Stumpy. So Stumpy has recovered amazingly, and is actually growing. So, I can actually see the growing bits now. Yay! Again, something that looks different colour under different lights. This was earlier today with um, daylight on it and maximum polyp extension there. These are some rastazoas. Now, the good thing about these is I, we started with three polyps of zoas and it, it's multiplied to about 10 or 11 now, I think, last count. So really looking forward to that colony growing out. So these are some plating Montes. 
So I was lucky enough to pick up two different colors. So having them close to one another should make a nice display once they grow out. They don't look like much now, but they are pretty cool corals. This is a cactus coral or a pavona. So this is unusual. Apparently this is a very simple coral to keep alive, but I've never really seen any grown out colonies of it. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what it looks like. It does look different. Yes. This is a green pocky. And we've also got a purple pocky as well. So this one, as you can see, has a little bit of an enemy damage underneath, but it's starting to change color and you can really tell the polyps are getting a nice green tinge to it as well. Did I pick this one out? You picked this one out, so it's a fairy light acro. As you can see, it's got bright green polyps on it, which is really unusual. And it's really small at the moment. It was on the $10 rack, so we we're really lucky to pick this one up. I think it might turn into a bit of a stunner. Yeah, will. Now, here we go. Here's our Gorgonian. Gorgonian. <laughs> this is when we first got it, when it has no polyps out. And what are we looking for in Gorgonias? Big, fat, thick, juicy stems. Everyone seemed to like that on the last video, so we thought we'd repeat it again. <laughs> and as you can see, it's happy with all its polyps out as well. So very happy coral in our tank at the moment. This is our latest trackie. So that little thing in front of it is a typical Zoal plug. And that's just for scale to show how big this ac actually is. And I swear, it even gets bigger when it's hungry. Yeah, it's, huge, it's a huge piece, it's right in the, uh, well not really the front of the tank, but on the side of the tank, but it's the side that we look at when we're sitting on the couch watching TV, so it's sort of, yeah, it's a good good spot for it and it uh, takes up so much space, it looks really good. Here's a candy cane colony. I thought this was an odd one when I saw it in the shop, it didn't look like candy cane to me because it's just, all the candy canes we've had in the tank so far have just been sort of two heads or one head, you know, it hasn't been sort of that big colony on them, so it was a pretty cool, cool piece. This is a fluorescent finger leather, which is really nice, very bright looking, and it's doing particularly well at the moment. So as you can see, it's got nice polyp extension. And I've even fragged a little bit of this for the jar reef as well. So hopefully that will grow and we'll be able to propagate it. I this, picked this one too. Yes, you did. This is a um, merolina coral. So this is an LPS coral that actually gets a ruffled appearance once it grows out as a colony. And here we are just having a look at the side of the tank and just showing overall tank shots at how happy the coral is together. So that it's really growing together nicely now and you can really see it looks a bit like a reef. It is starting to really look like a, like a reef. It's because it's been established for a long time. So 15 months, I guess, is a long time for, the, uh, for a reef tank. All the corals look healthy. The clam looks healthy and happy. So if you've liked our video today, please like, comment and subscribe below. Don't forget to hit the bell button if you want to be notified of our videos, which come out every Sunday morning, 8.30 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. And keep it salty, everyone. <laughs>Hey Reefers, uh, today we're going to go to, through the... Can't talk. <laughs> this is going to go well. It is, it's going to take all night.